I think it gets back again, open standards, interoperability, and a focus on non-IP encumbered um, technology. I think everyone is looking for clarification on the rules on drones. I don't know that I feel that policy is really impeding anything right now. Maybe it's bandwidth related. It's like how do how do we handle the frequency and the radio waves and all the telecommunication uh, requirements? I mean, this is a Qualcomm question, uh, maybe along with uh, with the FCC, and I may be completely wrong on that. But that's one of the one of the things I'm curious about. How do you handle all of the communication data flow that's going on and keep things from running into one another? The globe doesn't have a data privacy policy. Um, Europe does broadly, but not in detail. In the United States, we have precisely two data privacy laws. We have HIPAA that protects your healthcare data, and we have the Fair Credit Reporting Act, right? Those are the only things that happen nationwide in terms of data privacy. Everything else is left to the states, and you know, the states are pretty clueless about it. I think that if we could elucidate policies and create laws that were uniform, it would be a lot easier for us to build and deploy these systems. I think it's going to be the ability of people to protect their information. I think the Internet of Things is based on this fundamental ability of sharing information, and if we can't do that in a safe and secure way, so I think we're going to need policy and laws to make it so that everybody understands what's, what's, what's within reason. I would reform the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, this 1998 statute whose uh, uh, language prohibits uh, the, the circumvention of digital locks. I think with one step we could really make the future a better place. Ironically, the um, U.S. Trade Representative has actually gone to all of America's trading partners and gotten them to pass their own versions of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. So every country in the world is liable to this problem. Now the great news is that if the U.S. stops enforcing it here, then all of those other countries will very quickly follow suit because there's money to be made in circumvention, right? The only reason to put a digital lock on is to extract maximum profits from your platform. To me, policymakers need to not be sort of saying, uh, you know, trying to prevent the future from happening. They should be just policing bad actors. And so, you know, a great example of this is in healthcare. Uh, we're going to be producing, we are already producing vast realms of, of health data. HIPAA, the Health uh, Information Privacy Act, is just um, you know, a real obstacle. If you have a serious you know, illness, you want to share your data with anybody you can help. You want to put your data together with other people's data because this collective amassing of data is one of the, the, the great you know, keys to the future. And yet we here we have these overreaching privacy laws that are going to make it difficult. So punish bad actors, don't prevent good actors.